क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in this video we are going to see the block diagram of operational amplifier we have a different blocks connected together to understand the basic working principle of operational amplifier that we are going to see in this video so this is the block diagram of a typical operational amplifier where we, where we have a different stage and different stage has a different significance so our first stage is a input stage which is a dual input balanced output differential amplifier we have seen what is differential amplifier in a previous video basically it amplify the difference between the signals applied to its both the input so it is a dual input you have a two input inverting terminal and non inverting terminal and you have a two output so it is a balance output differential amplifier so basically this is a drive stage and this input stage will decide what is the input resistance of the operational op amp now till here we have not studied what are the ideal characteristics of op amp but input resistance is one of the parameter which comes under the ideal characteristics where it is shown that the input resistance should be infinite ideally and practically it should be as high as possible so that ri that is input resistance is defined by the input stage which is which is a differential amplifier where the difference between two input terminals is amplified and given as a output now this output after this output is provided to the intermediate stage which is also a second differential amplifier which is a dual input unbalanced output differential amplifier why it is a unbalanced output because we you have the single output and dual input here also it is act as a differential amplifier because whatever is the output of the input stage that can be directly coupled to the this intermediate state and that will be the two input for the intermediate states so it will calculate the difference between two input and that calculated difference can be amplified and given as a output for the level shifting stage now level shifting stage is simply a emitter follower so it is a amplifier stage only it is a bgt amplifier you can use as a emitter follower that means it will follow the same output only it will change the dc level of the input signal which is co coming to the level shifting stage so basically the significance of a level shifting stage is to shift the dc level of the signal below with respect to ground then that signal is provided to the output stage which is a push pull amplifier basically here your signal will get amplified to increase the voltage gain of an amplifier when it comes to the op amp what is important is to voltage gain having a voltage gain voltage gain should be high for the op amp voltage gain is a important parameter of the operational amplifier your gain should be as high as possible if you look at the ideal characteristics it is also given that your voltage gain basically it is a open loop gain and denoted as a av that should be infinite but practically it is not possible so practically it should be as high as possible so this high voltage gain can be decided by the output stage where your signal is actually boosted it is actually amplified and given as a output so this is how the different blocks of operational amplifier work together to amplify the signal so whatever signal you need to amplify that signal will be provided to input over here and that particular signal pass through all the blocks within a operational amplifier and the different actions are takes place over that particular signal to get the amplified version of that particular input signal and also along with the voltage gain the output resistance or you can say output impedance is also set by the output stage it maintain output resistance is low ideally ri is infinite and r0 should be zero but practically it will be as high as possible and here it is as low as possible so the push pull amplifier will take care of output resistance i hope you all understood what is the different significance of the blocks which are used in a block diagram so for ideal op amp 
Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Do subscribe Ikira. Thank you.